welcome students to the second session of social science lesson number 5 natural disasters in the first session we have covered the two topics of natural disasters let's have a quick re recap of it first we have learned that there are two types of natural disasters one is the disaster caused due to the changes in the interior of the earth and the disasters caused due to the changes on the surface of the earth first we have learned about earthquake earthquake occurs due to the internal disturbance in the earth we have learned about the hypocenter and epicenter in the earthquake we have also learned of the reasons for the occurrence of the earthquake then we have learned about the types of earthquake the reasons for the earthquake the second topic was volcano see volcano means we have learned in the last in the last session that volcano means an opening in the earth's crust from which motion lava rock fragments ashes dust and gases are ejected from the below surface of the of the earth we have also learned about the reasons for volcanic eruption formation of the volcano types of the volcanoes active volcano dormant volcano and extinct volcano we have also learned about the benefits of the volcano today we are going to learn about our third topic the third disaster tsunami what is tsunami now see due to due to volcanic eruption or earthquake on the sea floor high oceanic waves are created and they are known as tsunami this is the picture of tsunami waves these are the scenes of oceanic waves of tsunami this is the one picture where you can say uh, see that the waves have entered into the city this is the second picture where you can see the heavy tides occurring in the sea volcanic eruption or earthquake also takes place on the sea floor and this causes oceanic waves and that is known as tsunami and the waves are high and have unimaginable length that is approximately 700 to 1600 kilometers yes the heights of the waves are unimaginable these waves travel with a great speed and force and by the time they reach the coast they great they attain great height and power which causes a great deal of destruction in the coastal regions now see coastal regions are the regions near the coast the areas near the sea are known as the coastal regions so when this waves comes with a great speed and it reaches the coast the power of the waves is so high and the height of the waves are so high that it causes a great dis destruction in that region near the sea and this type of destruction was noticed uh, on 11th of march 2011 in japan in japan in 2011 when tsunami waves attacked there was great loss in japan in the coastal areas not only in the coastal areas it entered into the city also effects of tsunami 
Strong and whirling winds also creates big and strong waves. Once the storm gets over, these waves become tall with a high wavelength which can travel great distances and causes a great deal of destruction in the coastal regions and so they are known as destructive waves. Because of the wind blowing very strong, the big and strong waves are created and when the storm gets over, these waves take a place of tall and high wavelength means the big waves are created and they travel a great distance which causes lot of destruction in the coastal regions as these waves causes great deal of destruction they are known as destructive waves at times rock falls ice falls or underwater slides or slums can generate displacement of water to create tsunami sometimes the rock under the sea they start falling sometimes the icebergs at the poles they fall into the sea or the underwater lights landslides or slums create the displacement of water means that is the movement of water to create the tsunami so these are the effects of tsunami and it comes with a great destruction when the, whenever the tsunami attack comes it waves causes lot of destruction our next topic is flood the flow of excess water in a river is called flood when the excess water means the extra water comes into the river and it flows out of the uh, banks they are that is known as flood the reasons of the flood are first reason is heavy rain in the upper course of water if there is heavy rain in the upper course of river that means from where the river has started if there is heavy rain there the flow comes down in the lower area so that causes flood second reason if a dam on river breaks flood occurs in the low lying areas on the river bank we know that dams are built on the river to store water to generate electricity but if that dam breaks on a river the flood occurs and the low lying areas near the river, river bank they have to suffer a great loss let us see some picture of flood here are some pictures where you can see the river water has entered into the city or village here the water has entered into the house of the people and people have to go if they have to go out they have to travel through the water they have to walk into the water and then move from one place to another you can see here how much of water has entered into the city because of this flood transportation stops people can't go from one place to another and everything is blocked the water into, enters into the shops and spoil many things okay it causes great destruction we will have a look on the table where you can see at which place the flood has occurred in which year here is the table you can see there was a flood in 1978 which was in the river ganga yamuna in north india okay which has affected lot in the nearby area second was in the river machu 
विच इज इन मोरबी इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन डियर चिल्ड्रेन मोरबी इज इन गुजरात ओके नेक्स्ट वॉज अ फ्लड इन सूरत यस अवर सूरत द फ्लड हैज टेकन प्लेस इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इन अवर रिवर तापी इन बिहार द फ्लड टूक प्लेस इन टू थाउजेंड एट इन द कोशी रिवर एंड इट हैज कॉज अ ग्रेट डिस्ट्रक्शन टू द नॉर्मल लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल अब नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फेमाइन एंड इट इज कॉज ड्यू टू द चेंजेस ऑन द आउटसाइड ऑफ द ऑन द अपर सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ सी य scanty rainfall leads to the drying up of the ground water and shortage of food and water this condition is known as famine see the picture here here the land has dried up and the cracks can be seen you can just compare these cracks with the cracks on your skin in the winter season when in the winter season on our hands and legs if we don't apply oil our skin starts cracking because there is a shortage of water this is the same condition of land on the land if water is not poured it becomes dry and the cracks appear so if there is less rainfall so the dry the ground dries up and the shortage of food and water is created and this condition is known as famine the condition of famine occurs in case of scanty rainfall or no rainfall for 2 to 3 years successfully famine cannot occur instantly if the rainfall is very scanty or no rainfall is there for 2 to 3 years continuously then the condition of shortage of food and occurs and that is known as famine and if we want to reduce the possibility of famine then we need to plant more trees if we plant more trees there are less possibility of famine to occur famine mostly occurs in the dry regions we also have a uh, region of famine that means mostly it is in the desert area in rajasthan you can see there is a less rainfall so sometimes that occurs there but if we plant more trees we can stop famine to occur forest fire the fire which takes place in the forest naturally friction between dry branches of trees and other factor causes forest fire it causes a great amount of damage to forest resources and animals let us see the picture this is the picture of forest fire which has taken place naturally how does it take place see the dry branches they slide on each other okay and the fire occurs on its own and the trees in the forest starts burning it takes place because of more heat when the dry branches they strike with each other continuously a friction takes place and the fire is caused and when the forest fire takes place Uh, there is a great damage of forest resources now what is this resources the things which we get from forest okay the wood the herbs okay all these things which we get that is damage and even many animals die in the forest fire next topic landslide the sliding of large mass of rock material soil etc down the soil of a mountain or cliff is termed as landslide it takes place mostly in the mountains on the mountains 
when a large piece of rock or the soil or large mass of land it get down into the soil that is known as a land land slide now see why does it occurs it occurs mostly due to the excessive rainfall or an earthquake see when the uh, excessive rainfall takes place the land becomes soft so some pieces of rocks large piece of rock material they get softened and they fall down or sometimes the earthquake takes place we have already learned how does the earthquake takes place at that time there is some part of the land that go down the soil of a mountain okay for example in the rainy season the railway transportation in konkan gets obstructed due to landslide see the konkan is the region where very frequently this landslide takes place when the landslide takes place it obstruct the roads the transportation the area which is uh, facing the landslide when the landslide fall down it comes and falls on the road so the uh, transportation means the vehicles which are passing by through that is uh, it is stopped from that area